guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do two finales in one video because I just don't want to make two videos. So this might be longer but I'm trying to sh shorten it as much as I can. So this contains my makeup I want to use up and my body care I want to use up in 2016. I have it all in these two boxes here. So I will just go through the stuff and told you what I finished and what I didn't finish. Long story short, my makeup use up was not only for 2016. I have decided to do my finale because I don't want to work on these products anymore in like a project. Because I have worked on them for an entire year and I'm just kind of sick of them and I want to put new products into project pans. Some of the products I have only used in the last couple of months, so I can work on those for some time here in 2017. I will start with the makeup because that's the most exciting thing. And then we will take the body care for last. I have a lot of makeup in this one and most of them is finished because I did my birthday project pen here for October until my birthday in December. I will start with this one. This is my C palette and I have two palettes in here and two blushes from another palette that I have finished this year. So yeah, this is my new Panda palette for 2017. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here or in the description box. That one was the last video I put up on my channel, so it wouldn't be hard to find. I'm talking more about this palette in that video. Since my Panda palette, I have repressed three shadows, like I said in the video, so there's not that much change since my last update for this project. So I didn't finish that, I only hit pan on a few shadows. Since my last update for this, I did hit pan in this dark grey shade, so I'm very proud of that. So I have finished that quad, or hit pan on that. I hit pan on that dark shade, I had that last time, and I did hit pan on my single shadow from Dean Dior. For my lip balms, I did not have pan on any of these last time, so this Nivea Lip Butter Raspberry Rose, I did hit pan in this one, so I'm pretty excited about that, and um, I did that this morning, and I did hit pan on this lip balm from Lisbeth Dale, um, yeah, so I'm quite excited that I have hit pan on these because there's a ton of product in these two. Then I have this Wet n Wild Cover All Concealer Palette. Last time I did have a, quite a bit of my highlighter and now I have finished that one. I have this Astor Face Powder but I'm decluttering this because I have used it for so long as an eyeshadow. And it just broke a little bit. This is so old and I'm only using this for an eyeshadow and I have repressed this. I, do, I don't think I did that last time. Um, so yeah, I'm just decluttering this. No, I'm throwing this out because I just, I just don't want to anymore. And this is so old and I can't use it as a face powder. So this will take me three years or so to finish. But... So I don't want to anymore. Then I have my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. Last time I depotted it into this uh, container. I have three weeks left for this one or so and I will use that in January and then this will be gone. I finished my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I have made great progress with my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Rewind Concealer. Last time I was up here and now I'm down to here. This will be gone in the new year and I don't like this but I'm using it and I will make it work. I have my Maybelline Brow Drama and this is gone. I finished the two color tattoos I had left in this project. And that is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Permanent Taupe that I use for my brows and it is completely gone. I'm so excited. And the other one is the Eternal Silver one and I finished that also. I finished my eye primer from e.l.f. calling this done from Flomar and it is the Miracle Pendulum Touch Eyeliner and I made great progress on this Maybelline eyeliner and I finished this Wet n Wild Color Icon White Eyeliner and in the beginning it was up to here so I finished a lot of eyeliner and I used this as my cream base for my eyeshadow. And for my e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzing Cream I finished up the blush and I'm quite excited because this is my first blush I have ever finished. 
And I'm tossing this product because I don't care for that bronzer because it's just too orange for my skin tone. Then I have made great progress in this duo also from e.l.f. and it is the Contouring Blushing Bronzer Powder version and it is in Turks and Caicos. This one was in St. Lucia. I'm working on that blush right now and I hope I can finish this this year. I have my e.l.f. Big Blush in Peachy Cheeky and I didn't use this since last time. And my e.l.f. Bronzer in Sun Kissed. I I don't think I have repressed this last time, but now I have. And there's so much product, and I can only use this as an eye highlighter or an eyeshadow. I have my e.l.f. nail polish in Smoky Brown, and I'm down to here. So I haven't used this since my finale for my project pan. So for my lip products, I have finished up my Lean Your Lip Gloss. This was a full size, so that's quite exciting. And I finished up my The Color Workshop Red Lipstick. It is completely gone. I don't want to dig it out or anything because it's a red lipstick and I have tons of reds. I have finished up this one. It is the Max Factor Lipfinity Lasting Lip Tint. It's like a lip stain. And then I have these two. This one is the red lipstick and I haven't used this. And the other orange red lipstick from Oriflame and it is in 26 and 27. I haven't used these in a very long time. And the last product I have here is my depotted Oriflame lipstick that I finished up last time. I scraped out the last bit of product inside the tube and this is what there is left. So that was all of my makeup products I had left for this product. If you want to see what I started out with, what, which was a lot of products, and then I will leave my intro down below. Let's go to my body care I want to use up. And no, okay. For the makeup project, I did have my perfume from Gucci and it is the Flora by Gucci. And I, I'm down to here. I didn't finish that one, but I will work on that this year too. So. Now for the body care I want to use up. I have a few products I have finished and some are just mid progress on. The two products I have finished is these two and it is small sizes from the Body Shop. And this one is the Body Butter from the Body Shop in the mango flavor. I have finished this one up. I'm quite excited. And I have finished the mango shower gel. Then I have made some progress on my perfume samples. And I have finished this one. So I have finished two out of the six I wanted to finish this year. So that's quite bad. <laughs> but I'm just bad at going through perfume. I have made a bit of progress on this one. And the same on this one. It's just a little bit. Haven't used this one. And made a little progress on this one too. Okay, it's up to the sides, but I almost used this up. I don't I think I have a few uses left. I'm I know it's down to here but it's on the sides so I will I think I'm down to here or something. It is my Redken shampoo. Okay my marks have rubbed off but I'm almost halfway through this Nivea powder touch deodorant. This lasts forever. <laughs> Then I have my Swatchcraft Osis Plus Upload Volume Booster. It's like a root booster and I used it yesterday so I think I'm down to here or something. So I will work on this this year too and hopefully it will be gone soon. Like I said last update, I did not use these two. So I will work on these this year but I will only work on the root booster after I have used up this one. Because it's like the same product and it's to own two of the same products and I haven't used this hand cream either so yeah and I can't find my beloved Matas hand cream I did make a little bit of progress on that one but I will insert the picture from last update here so you can see where I was I only used it a few times since last update so it wasn't a big deal but I can't find it and I love it so I hope I can find it when I Clean up my apartment. That was everything for these two finales. It is such a relief that I'm not doing this anymore because I have done this for a year. <laughs> That's such 
a long time. I don't think I will do these again this year, maybe next year. It is a little too much for me and I'm working on them for a whole year inside my head even though I'm not. I don't think I will do these anymore. So I might do the smaller projects and not this big one. For my makeup, I'm doing project pants, don't worry. I'm planning on a year-long project pan roulette, so it's kind of the same thing. I hope you are doing well until next video, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.